So I want you to do a quick video on expansion vessels. Expansion vessels usually sit inside the boiler or you can get external expansion vessels. And um, on a combi boiler, they usually look something like this. Excuse the dodgy water in there. So this expansion vessel is knackered. And the reason it's knackered is because inside here, down the center, along here is a rubber gasket. And what that rubber gasket does is it separates this side from that side. On this side, you've got compressed air up to about one bar, give or take. And on that side, you've got water. So what happens is as water expands, as water gets hot, it expands. And this compressed air takes that expansion from the system and tries to keep a nice even pressure throughout your central heating system. Over time, what can happen is this rubber gasket can die. And the way we test that is if we press this little Schrader valve, which is the sort of thing you'd find on a car tire or a, um, a bicycle, we press this and you can hear air hiss out, then we know that this is intact. If you press this and water comes out, then we know that this rubber inside here has perished and therefore the expansion vessel needs to be replaced. However, what can happen with these is over time, um, this little insert in here can start letting air out. And occasionally you can spray it with a leak detection fluid to detect the air coming out and it won't actually show up, but it is letting it out quite a, a small amount of the time. So what many engineers will say is you need to replace the expansion vessel. However, what you can actually get is this handy little tool, this thing, which will unscrew the insert and this insert is what's causing the air to go out to be let through you can then get these replacement inserts they're not expensive there's about four quid for a bag there and you get the screwdriver with it and all you do is you take the old one out put the new one in screw it in and then you get a bike pump pop him on pump him up to about one bar and you're away when you do pump him up your system should be drained otherwise you'll get a false reading so make sure the system's drained before you pump it up um check your manufacturing instructions or call your manufacturers if you've got a worcester boiler call worcester ask them what they want to pumping up to um this is something you can do yourself it's a very easy repair to do um and it is responsible for a lot of you know, phantom leaks so what will happen is as the you turn your heating on, and if this hasn't got any air in it, any compressed air, you'll find if you watch your pressure gauge on your boiler, it will slowly start to just creep up, creep up, creep up, creep up. And then it'll activate the pressure relief valve, which is usually set at about three bar. So then what will happen outside, you will have a pipe, uh, which is usually set back against the wall and it will spit water outside. And then what happens is when your boiler cools down, you'll find that you've lost all the pressure or most of the pressure in your boiler and your boiler won't work, so you've got to top it up again and it will keep repeating that process. So by simply replacing that little insert there, we can hopefully stop that small leak coming out of your expansion vessel. Now there are other ways that water can leak out of the system. Uh, if you are losing pressure, then you could always you know, have a little wonder in your house if you can see any water, that's usually a good start. Go and check your PRV outside, make sure there's no water coming out of there. There is another way which is a bit fatal, which it could be leaking out the heat exchanger and going straight out of the condens. Um, <laughs> there are various ways, but usually it's this a lot of the time. So that's just a quick tip. Uh, not only for customers, but for other installers out there, you can actually buy these and replace that. Given the option, I'd replace that all day. Um, for what for what they cost, the amount of time it takes, it's a bit of a no-brainer. Saves the customer a few quid, saves you a bit of time, and leaves the customer happy with you that you haven't ripped them off. So I hope that helps, and like and subscribe to the channel. There'll be more tips coming as soon as I get time to do them. Um, yeah, this is Pete from Combiser, helping you out through coronavirus lockdown.